Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R. And in previous session, we have seen how to install R programming and R studio, how to start R studio session. And now in this session, we are going to learn how to start coding in R programming. Again, in this session, we are going to work in console. This area is called as console. It is usually at the bottom left screen. Now, uh, we'll do very little arithmetic here, three, plus four and we'll click enter the evaluation will be there now what happens in console this is prompt this symbol is called as prompt and you write your code after the prompt here the cursor is blinking means prompt is ready to accept your code and when you write the code and when you press enter the code will be interpreted the line will be interpreted it will be evaluated and output will be shown here and this one is called as index of the output this is the first value of that output now here I will type 1 to 15 and this says that uh, create uh, an object with numbers 1 to 15 and we'll run that and here you can see those 15 numbers there okay. we are working in console and please remember when you work in console that work will not be uh, saved uh, <coughs> in memory it will go to history here in history those commands will be there but uh, you will find it with little difficult to uh, extract the code from that history now we'll do another one uh, we'll use we'll give a name to that the radius and this greater than symbol this one <coughs> greater than symbol and dash this is called as assignment operator we are assigning an value to the uh, object called as radius this is name of that object now radius and we'll assign a value 4 to that and we'll enter now you'll see nothing got printed here if you got to print it then call radius again this radius <coughs> got stored into workspace if you see here into environment and many values are there i will remove those and will create radius again and run that radius 4 has appeared into environment and when we want to call it we just call the name radius when I typed a few alphabets of that this uh, drop down help or tooltip help got there I will click that radius will get completed and I will enter that now this radius is there now I, we want to uh, calculate area of that circle for that we will create an object area and we will assign a formula to it that is pi multiplied by this is operator for multiplication radius and this hat symbol tells that uh, that exponential will be there or uh, some number will be there which will be the power of radius here we are going to use that radius square and when we run that the uh, output will be stored into this object area and we are there area is here area has calculated if you want to see that area in console type area again and here you can see that uh, help is there you can click that and enter that that area will be shown into console you can do many things in console but please remember in console uh, that uh, <coughs> your code will not be saved properly it's a temporary code if you don't want to save any code then w uh, use that in console work that in console now here uh, we'll uh, do a little work plotting we'll do plot this is a very good function and uh, we'll plot the women this is bundle data set with r and please uh, get habit of this that r has many data set bundled with it and uh, in uh, next few sessions i will in <coughs> show you how to know how many uh, which data set is there bundled with r and when we run that we'll click enter you'll see the plot okay. you can use the plot for another one another data set is iris okay. and i have typed plot iris there and run that okay. a very good uh, plot panel is there this plot is a generic function and can plot many different types of plots based on the uh, input which we provide to it now please remember that this plot is called as function I will top uh, uh, plot again 
plot is called as function and inside the bracket you will have argument for that function this is the first thing you need to know for r and that plot this time we'll use another data set tooth growth and we'll run that and this plot is there okay function is there and this now uh, another convention about r the thing which you uh, need to know that r is a case sensitive language if you uh, type uppercase p and plot and uh, give the command you will see error because a lowercase p and uppercase p are different for r therefore lowercase plot is the proper command and if you use uppercase p it's not the proper command yeah. and uh, this is how we work in uh, console now we'll do some little uh, more interesting work i will just create a vector again called as radius and in that this assignment operator is again there uh, don't use that equal to operator because it's not uh, actually it's little ambiguous therefore in r it is avoided radius and in that radius will save the numbers 1 to 25 we'll run that and now we'll see what is there in radius i'll enter that now 25 numbers are there now we'll uh, type area is equal to that pi multiplied by radius square and run that now area has got calculated again here in environment you can see it's a num number 1 to 25 values are there and this uh, area has calculated we'll see area run that these uh, 25 area values are there how fast r can calculate a complicated uh, calculations also and that's how we work in console in next session we are going to learn how to uh, write code in script window and save it as a script and reuse the script thanks for watching this video if you have liked this video please click like button please share this video with your friends Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and uh, press the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. Thanks, thanks for watching.